Now, the uh, Tony Awards are what? This Sunday? This Sunday, yeah. Now, will you... Be... I'm going to present. You're presenting. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, Adina Menzel, you were not just presenting, like you said on Wednesday's Live with Kelly Mark. When the Tony Awards teased your appearance going into a commercial break, and the voiceover announcer said, up next, Adina Menzel and Cynthia Revo, I stopped in my tracks. I said, oh, the original, Tony winning, Broadway, Alphaba, on stage with the upcoming big screen version of Alphaba, I was seated. I still think that I should be Alphaba and I should just throw, slap that green makeup on me and get some CGI and Benjamin Button the shit out of that. And I like, I'll play. I still am relevant here, you know? Now, after expressing her desire to still play the role on the big screen to Variety in 2019, Adina showed nothing but love when Universal Pictures went in a different direction and cast Cynthia as Alphaba and Ariana as Glinda two years later in late 2021. Something has changed within. But yeah, when the Wicked Movie teaser trailer premiered, during the Super Bowl this year, in February, I did notice that Kristen Chenoweth did write something about it on Twitter, and Adina didn't. You're green. I am. Entertainment Tonight did ask Adina about it when she was on American Idol on May 12th. She's just incredible, and thank God, I just, I feel like she's the one to um, hand the torch off to, and yeah. she's, you're gonna love her. The full Wicked Movie trailer debuted three days later on May 15th. Oh, Once again, Kristen reacted and Adina didn't. And I said then that that doesn't mean that Adina is holding any you know, resentment or ill will towards the film. It's just that she probably recognizes that her endorsement has value to Universal Pictures. And just like anything, and like this is not a new concept in Hollywood, but yeah, just like anything, you want me to endorse your product, pay me. <laughs> and I suggested that Adina's endorsement might come at the film's premiere. In November, that they would cover costs for Adina, Adina to come to the premiere. Why wait till November when we can do it in June at the Tony Awards? I'm just going to go off script real quick to say how excited I am to see what I know is going to be an amazing performance in that movie that you're doing. I love you. You don't have to look at it like, oh, Adina was paid to say that on stage. She absolutely wasn't. First off, we now know that Dina is not an outsider to this wicked movie. A lot of fans keep asking whether or not we're going to see you and Kristen pop into this movie at all. What can you tease? What can you tell us? If I tell you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. So are you going to make a cameo? Um, you know, I can't. I, I, my lips are sealed. You know what seals lips? Signed contracts. Yeah. Actors don't issue death threats to media <laughs> unless they're under contract with movie studios. If Dina had no involvement in this movie, she would just say, I'm not in it. She's not saying that. Yeah, so her and Kristen are in the movie. Second off, award show appearances have costs. As both Adina and Cynthia showed off their looks on Instagram, they listed the stylist who found the dress, the shoes, the accessories, the hairdresser, the makeup artist. They all get paid for the work. That's easily like five grand. Who's paying that bill? Universal Pictures is absolutely covering Cynthia's costs, as all these appearances at this point are wicked promo appearances. And sure, Cynthia being on stage reminds viewers of the upcoming Wicked movie, but it's not going to get much press coverage. But Cynthia on stage with Adina, look at all the press coverage that gets. And major media outlets like Access Hollywood and Hollywood Reporter naturally want to talk to Adina Menzel anyways on the Tony Award red carpet. And yeah, look at that, a Wicked movie question is included. Have you seen the trailer yet? Yes, of course I have. Thoughts? It looks incredible. Have you had a chance to speak to Cynthia at all about the production and, and how have those conversations gone? Oh yeah, of course. No, um, She's been wonderful, and I haven't given her any advice because she doesn't need any advice. I think she's so incredibly talented. Now, while Universal Pictures would have had a hand in orchestrating that pairing on stage and covering the cost to get them both there, there's no way that Universal said to Adina, can you please say something about the movie on stage? No. Entertaining a wicked movie question from reporters on the red carpet is very different than, you know, requesting or suggesting that Adina say something about your movie on a competitor's broadcast. Amazing performance in that movie that you're doing. I love you. So I really do think this was Adina going off script in more ways than one. Like I'm sure you noticed that Adina didn't say the name of the movie. And that's because, like I said, Wicked is a Universal Pictures production. The parent company is NBC Universal. Adina is live on CBS. That parent company is Paramount. Yeah, like a direct competitor of Universal. Like, yeah, Tony Award show producers paired Adina and Cynthia together as presenters, but they were letting it go and said what the connection was between them. Like, yeah, that voiceover announcer didn't say Wicked going into the commercial break, nor did host Ariana DeBose when she introduced them. And technically, it still went unsaid. But yeah, Adina decided that she wanted to say something about Cynthia, and she did. 
and hopefully it didn't piss off Paramount too much in the process. I'm sure it's just a crazy coincidence, unfortunate coincidence, as the Hollywood Reporter's Rebecca Rubin tweeted from inside the theater that their mic was cut for most of the time they were on stage. Huh. I just want to say green girl power. Green girl power, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Afterwards, Cynthia shared the moment on her Instagram with the caption, did that really just happen? Yep, Adina said, you're a girl on whom, she can't rely. What'd you think of the wicked pairing on the Tony Awards last night? 